to his total of four goals from his last three. This is EA TV. And welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Manchester United up against Newcastle United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is the team Manchester United will go with. Davy De Gea stands between the posts. Scott McTominay plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. So they start at 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Alan San Maxima plays with Ryan Fraser in the wide areas. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. The first half underway here at Old Trafford. <laughs> Playing with purpose and control. Hayden. Trippier now. Fraser. And space for the cross. And a change to the scoreline in the Fulham game. Alex Scott can tell us more. And it's a goal for Wolves. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space. And it was a beautiful headed finish. They've scored the opener here with six minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Four goals in the last three appearances, and he's been playing with great confidence. There's every chance he'll get another couple today. Poor pass under no real pressure. Encouraging stuff from United. Bruno Fernandes. McTominay. What a vital intervention. Keeper not concentrating. Space and time for the cross. Ronaldo. Now that pass easy on the eye. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Matt Target. Here's Almiron. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Well, potential danger. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Fraser. And using his strength to shield the ball. And he's keen on cutting in. Excellent passing. Sam Aximan. Not to be advised giving the ball away there.
using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Cristiano Ronaldo. A oh, terrific pass. And there it is! 1-0! The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. Newcastle United get the ball moving again. Can they come up with a response now? Sven Botman. Hayden. It's with Isaac Hayden. And he read it superbly. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Sven Botman. Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. And appear to be on the cusp of being booked, but got away with that one. Casemiro. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Diogo Dallo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Given away by Manchester United. And goal news to bring you from the Southampton game. That means we join Alex Scott. It's a goal for West Ham. It's now 1 0 with 34 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Casemiro, his pass gobbled up. Matt Target. Getting close to the halftime interval. United with the lead. Stuart, what strikes you about what they've put into the game? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at halftime if it stays like this. Miguel Almiron and Newcastle pushing forward with options available and let's give credit to the defending having won the ball back they might be able to profit beautifully weighted ball foiling them effectively Grazer and now Trippier an effective challenge. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Cristiano Ronaldo. That's a splendid ball from Ronaldo. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. 
Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game and attack. Yeah, you're right. He needs to impose himself on this game. He just hasn't done enough to get away from his marker so far. Unless that changes, they're going to struggle to turn this one around. The first half. And the ball is rolling again. And Newcastle left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Hayden. Getting in there to intercept. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. And Tomane. Big chance! And not cleared away properly. Europa League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Manchester United against Real Sociedad. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. Ronaldo feeds it. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Almiron. Jamal Lascelles. Sven Botman. It's with Isaac Hayden. Fraser. Trippier now. And a chance to whip it in here. Fraser. He's protecting it effectively. Well, not a great ball played in. Right, I believe something has changed at the Emirates. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot from such a long way out. I think it totally surprised the goalkeeper. It's now 2-1 with 57 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Newcastle United taking on Leeds United. Casemiro failed to hang on to it. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Look, look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. And a throw in forthcoming. Here it is now, a substitution. Bruno Fernandes Scott McTominay Bruno Fernandes and return to Sancho terrific block Ryan Fraser well read to win possession back a wonderful bit of skill well, of the final analysis it was good defending this looks promising opportunity to deliver the cross not a touch off the defender last of all so a corner Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch. Played over by Fraser here. 
And he did what he had to do defensively. Almiron. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Well, let's join Alex Scott for an update. I believe, Alex, a goal at Craven Cottage. It's a goal for Wolves. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. They're ahead by two now with 72 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Almiron. Trippier. Well clattered away. An attack full of promise. Crossing into the middle. Well, the flag has gone up. He could have been in business. Well, it's so frustrating. It's good work on the flank, but he's got to do better to keep on side. Here's a change for Manchester United. Jaden Sancho. Excellent challenge. Ryan Fraser. Moving forward effectively. Joel Linton. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Diogo Dallo. Well, Manchester United all-powerful. They've accelerated away in this one, Stuart. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Will it be? A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Substitution for Manchester United coming off the pitch. Joel Linton, Isaac, number 14, Christian Eriksen. Matt Target, it's with Joel Linton. Spot on with that tackle. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. A foul, but advantage played. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. And there it is, the final whistle, a result to please Manchester United fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.
Well, in the final analysis, a spectacular contribution from Bruno Fernandes. Eye-catching stuff all round. And Stuart, I wonder what you made of his performance. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result.